Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your love and life message for the beginning of October. It is good for Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, or Mercury placement of Sagittarius. As always, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. Just take the message if you feel it applies to you. If not, leave it behind. Check back in a few days. If you want to book a private reading with me, the link to my website to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me is down in the description below. If you're new, this is Soma Chandra Libra. On this channel, I just read for Libra and Sagittarius. So subscribe and hit the bell. I'll read for you here every few days. But I also read for you on my other channel called Soma Chandra Tarot, where I read for all 12 zodiac signs. You can check your other placements on my other channel. Uh, readings for the beginning of October should be up for all 12 signs on Soma Chandra Tarot, my other channel, in the next two days when my family gives me a moment to work in peace. <laughs> all right, let us begin. Um, this looks like kind of a tough message. Um, if you don't feel like you're going through a rough time in your life, this message might not be for you. Things could be opposite and roles could be reversed. If you're cross-watching at all, you may need to reverse the roles as well. Although I do not favor cross-watcher, I favor the sign I'm reading for. So just take it as it resonates. So the way you guys are feeling, the way someone's feeling right now is faith and resilience, but resistance is at the bottom of the deck. You will be having some realizations soon. I think a lot of you are being encouraged to keep the faith and have faith. Um, someone's been going through quite a bit lately. Release what burdens are not yours to carry. Ask for help where you can, Sagittarius. Um, you're showing a lot of resilience right now. Someone's showing a lot of resilience. I think someone's been working really hard. I think they feel like they've experienced some bad luck. Possibly there's been resistance and growth with the wheel of fortune here, like we have ups and we have downs in life. Sometimes, I mean, when I saw these cards, I was like, you know, with the wheel, sometimes you feel like you're on top of the wheel and sometimes you feel like you're between the wheel and the road. <laughs> Sagittarians are really, really good at getting over things and moving on. Not quite like Aries, they take the cake, but you guys are pretty good at it. But right now I think it's like between the wheel and the road kind of moment for someone. There's been resistance, someone's needing to have faith. Um, you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn as well right now. Maybe you have that in your chart. It might be coming out. When I did the whole spread, I was like, well, for some of them, Sagittarius is maybe watching someone else go off and be happy and they're not feeling good about that. They're feeling a little salty about it. And I felt like I wanted to use some more Oracle decks to allow your guides to speak to you and give you more advice and comfort. Someone needs some comfort and more support. I was like, oh, they need more support. So they wanted me to use a few more decks. 25, release the dark wound and let love live. And 37, focus on the life, on the light and on your life. And then at the bottom of this deck, I have 44 visions, visions of life beyond death. So there has been a death or some kind of an ending. I can sense that someone is struggle. Some of you are struggling to let go of something. I was like, oh, that's not like Sagittarius. They're usually rather good at letting go of things. I mean, everyone has to go through a healing journey, but some of you are being reminded there's been a dark wound that you've been holding on to for a long time. Someone needs to let that go and let love live in their heart. They do want you to focus on the light right now. Someone, some of you have been focusing too much on the dark, too much on an ending, too much on death, a Scorpio energy here. They want you to focus on the light. I say that very, I tread lightly when I give that advice because I do believe there's something called toxic positivity where you're never allowed to indulge in all of your emotions. And like, if you feel like shit, you feel like shit. If you're hurt, you're hurt. And there's a time and a place for all emotions. But I think your guides are encouraging some of you to have visions of a life beyond a death. Um, focus on positive healing things. Focus on the positive in your life. There is a dark wound that does its time to release it. So you can let love live again inside your life, inside your heart. They also want you to ask yourself a rhetorical question through the Soul Truth deck. How can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? Grace with yourself. Growing our self-love is medicine in this world's broken heart. Yeah, it really is. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, 
you are able to give the world more grace. The action for right now is look at yourself with a grace filter. You're meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic and fill that hole with your soul's truth that you are infinite, that you are loved, and you are already there. Yeah, some of you need to give yourselves more grace. Don't beat yourself up too much. I see a sadness, but not necessarily maybe some beating beating ourselves up a little bit here, guys. Yeah, be more kind to yourself. Give yourself more grace than anyone else right now. You may resist it. I feel like some of you have just had resistance in your life. Again, the roles could be reversed. The overall energy of the reading is the Five of Pentacles. So someone feeling like they're barely breaking even, feeling left out in the cold, maybe not doing great financially either as well. It could be worse, but it could definitely be better. So someone's feeling that way. Their response to that is the Four of Pentacles. So if anyone's feeling left out in the cold or like they're not doing well, maybe barely making ends meet, saving is a good way to deal with that. But watch out for not letting go of things that you do need to let go of. You're being seen as the hermit. Someone's the hermit. Withdrawn. Someone is withdrawn. Someone's feeling left out in the cold and feeling withdrawn to a degree. What you need to know is the Ten of Swords. So a painful ending. And then the final outcome is the Six of Swords. But moving on. So someone's moving on from something. Okay, again, it could be reversed. But I feel like I feel like I'm almost seeing, sometimes this really happens where I'm seeing a split screen because I see good news coming in from your environment and your reaction to it seems like it's sad and difficult for you. So I think that I'm maybe seeing your response to someone else. So there's this feeling of being left out in the cold. The irony of it with, this is the only five of pentacles in any tarot deck that I've ever seen this way. This is Lightseer's tarot where she has the key in the corner there to open the lock but she cannot focus on that right now. She's too worried, stressed out, not doing well, self-esteem issues maybe. Then clarifying this is the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Okay, so someone's not doing great. They are having kind of a fire sign response to it. I find it so fascinating the way every sign sort of is blueprinted and hardwired to deal with these kinds of moments in different ways and like this looks like something a Sagittarius would do which is good which is okay focus on my goals I have the world in front of me I have to pick a path that's in alignment with my goals I'm looking for growth potential something that excites me something that sets me on fire a new opportunity that has full growth potential and sort of trying to move on someone's kind of in the land in between here maybe in between jobs in between relationships looking for something new that will excite them and be good for them. But I think it's just like a rite of passage right now for someone. The way they're feeling is the Four of Pentacles. So again, if someone's not doing well, it's like, whoa, I have to be really careful with how I spend, how I spend my emotional budget, my literal pentacle budget, pentacles are money. Yeah, not a lot to give at this point. Someone doesn't have a lot to give. Clarifying this is strength. The Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Leo here. There's quite a bit of Leo here. Aquarius as well. I do think someone is holding back. They're trying to be strong through a tough time. With the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands, you know, this Knight of Cups is a tricky night. Um, it's a very dreamy and idealistic night. This could have been a younger person, perhaps, or a dream that's like the Knight of Cups. It almost feels like it's supposed to be in reverse, where something isn't quite what someone thought it was going to be. They were very idealistic. They really romanticized something. They might have poured their heart into it, but try as they might, that wasn't quite enough. And now they're kind of, they're weighed down. Someone's very weighed down here. Someone may idealize things a little too much and they're not as practical as they should be from time to time. That Knight of Cups, I think, is a dangerous night <laughs> in this way. It's like, oh, something just wasn't what I thought it was. So they're the hermit, a Virgo energy here. Withdrawn, searching the soul. Clarifying this, though, is the Fool, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Okay, this may all be someone's reaction to you, okay? Um, possibly where what I'm seeing here is 
Someone may be very lighthearted and also kind of, I heard beginner's luck, even though that's more the magician beginner's luck. They work and then someone else is mad about it. Someone may have started something new and put a lot of work into it and now there's anger and frustration and it's not going the way they wanted it to and they're pissed off. But I do see like, look how he, the, on the Five of Swords, he's looking back at someone else. This may be like a partner or a boss that like they just went off and did their own thing and the other person's like, yeah, that's great, but you left me with all this shit and I'm resentful. There is a resentment coming off of one person towards another person. <clears throat> Some people just deal with stuff differently. You know, like Aries, they can be hurting inside, they can be dying inside and they'll be like, whatever, I'm going to go just start a new project. <laughs> they might live longer with that attitude, actually. I always think you guys are going to live the longest because of the way you deal with stress, the way you power through with dynamicism, you're, you have a lot of agency in life, you're creative and dynamic and you don't let too much bog you down. So this could be someone's response to like a fire sign approach to life that you have. And they don't like that they're withdrawn from you but you could be feeling this way about another person like resentful someone's resentful here what you need to know or your advice is the ten of swords she is looking towards the dawn and i loved what came out i was like oh that's a breath of fresh air that's good news clarifying the ten of swords is the ace of pentacles justice and the star I feel so campy and cliche saying this but it really is true about the ten of swords it's always darkest before the dawn. And someone has been through something painful, difficult, maybe felt stabbed in the back. But after this pain, karma could be righted and balanced and a new opportunity could come in. Someone is looking for a good opportunity, a new opportunity. This could, looks like it could even be with career. So if you're feeling the Ten of Swords, Sagittarius, do not lose hope. Spirit is coming with a message of hope. You could get good news, a good contract, a job, something new, something good. Mm -hmm. Something good can come after this storm and this pain. Like she's getting up. And with the Ten of Swords, we usually see someone stabbed in the back ten times. She's up and walking. She's moving yeah, so a good opportunity is going to come in for someone or they're saying don't give up hope. Have to be fair and honest though with yourself or this person does. But then the final outcome for the beginning of October is the Six of Swords. So just trying to move on. I see someone going through something difficult and just trying to move on. Clarifying this, two kings came out. The King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Someone may have earth and water in their chart in a close planet. Maybe like an earth rising, but a water moon. There has been heartbreak. Two different people could have broken your heart. Or this person has two different sides to them. They're trying to move on. It's not easy. I'm also seeing like I don't have the world here. So there's not a complete closure on something yet. Yeah. This person may have had a very emotional side, but also a very stubborn side. This person might not have been able to open up to you or cannot at this time. They're trying, though, with the star after the Ten of Swords. But I kind of get the sense that this may be your reaction to something that's happening because the wheel is here. But then I have the Fool, like new things coming in. Here's a new opportunity coming in with the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups. That's new love coming in. But for now, someone's kind of skulking off. Maybe there's something that someone's in the Nine of Wands. It's difficult for someone to see something and deal with it. So in the environment, I have, this could be really good news for you coming in. It's also possible that someone at the beginning of October is going to share a lot of good news with you and it's difficult for you to be happy for them um, just because of what you're going through. But I could also be picking up on very good news that will make you happy and make you feel good. It may come in the form of a message from an old friend that wants to cheer you up. They could be a Leo or an Aquarius. The Two of Cups, the Sun, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. I wanted to know what the Eight of Wands was, and I got the Star and the Six of Swords. So if this is a person around you that's going through something really difficult, they may give you some good news that they hear I also that may make you worry less about them. I also think that this may be good news coming in the form of an old friend, an old boss. 
they may, it's like this person has nothing but positivity and lightheartedness and care to bring, kindness to bring with the sun and the six of cups. This could be about children as well, something youthful and sweet. That's why I thought maybe like an old friend may message you. They may bring a message of hope and peace. Everything's going okay. You're going to be okay. They may try to make you laugh and smile. They may remind you of something that happened between the two of you a long time ago that cheers you up. They, this could also be someone just being really happy and moving on. And you may be seeing that this could be you that's ticked off. It's difficult for us to see someone else move on from something, especially when maybe they hurt us. Mm hmm. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be good news coming in that like a new opportunity that makes you feel good. Someone may deliver a message to you that puts you on a good track and helps you get over something. But in the meantime, it may be difficult because your overall energy, Sag, is strength. The two of wands, you could be this could be a Leo. You're looking at a Leo. They have this way of lighting up a room and being happy regardless. But then in the Two of Wands, you're watching, you're looking for directions. And then the Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups, Nine of Wands. Okay, some of you, I'm going to recommend like taking a break from social media for a while. Like I have to sometimes because you see nothing but like social media is just like a glorified tea party and everyone's life looks fucking perfect. And you're like, F you, like I'm kind of sad right now. Okay, <laughs> like I'm being really strong and I'm looking for direction. Some of you may be sad about a water sign or a Leo or you have that in your chart and it's not easy for you to watch this. You have the strength to make it through this. You're you have not fallen down. You're standing upright. You're going to pick a good direction. I think it's definitely a time of self-love and self-care. You guys have, some of you have water in your chart. Even if you have no water in your chart, you can still be a queen of cups, you know, where you have a lot of love to give. I can see that you're sad about some stuff right now, feeling emotional and sad. It's going to be all right, Sagittarius. You are the lucky sign. You are the angels that walk among us. You're, you're my four-leaf clover, baby. I just want to give some of you hugs right now. Pour that cup of love into yourself really and truly you have the strength to make it through this but love yourself first be kind and loving to yourself forgive yourself for anything that you feel bad about mm -hmm. like a regret of some kind you're going to be okay mm -hmm. and again so for some of you this is going to be good news right when you need to hear it someone's going to be an angel on earth here for you they're going to make you smile. They're going to make you laugh and, and make you happy and help you move on with the Six of Swords here twice. But for others of you, you know, if you have this one friend that's just like sort of insensitive to your stuff or someone like an ex or something that's moving on and this hurts you to see, just know this, that it's you're perfectly normal to feel that way. I felt that way before. That shit, there are people I still don't want to see happy. And I have to admit that to myself. It's like just a part, like complex emotions, you know. A good opportunity is going to come in for you too. Possibly when you least expect it. And you guys are really good at being open to those kinds of wheel of fortune moments. They seem to happen to Sagittarians often. In the meantime, for those of you that need to hear this, release the dark wound and let love in now. Focus on the light, you know, your Jupiterian energy that wants you to expand and look towards the horizon line. It is always darkest before the dawn, but you're going to be okay. Someone's going to be okay and they're going to move on. Give yourself more grace and focus on a life after death and ending. Mm -hmm. Don't take what someone else is doing so personally. Rejection had nothing to do with you and more to do with them. And you can, you will, be, you can be happy again, right? You can be. When the wheel turns, it's always going to turn in the right direction. Believe it. All right, Sag, that's the beginning of October. Very heavy. I was like, I didn't expect this. Your last reading was interesting, but this one seemed kind of heavy. I am going to do a beginning of October reading for you guys on my other channel. So I'm a Chandra Tarot. I'm going to ask Spirit to pull in more good news, more, you know, 
hidden supports that you're not aware of and try to get more constructive advice to help any of you that are going through a Ten of Swords moment to help get you back into this star energy. I believe you can get there. I believe in you guys more than anybody sometimes, truly. You guys can't, you can't knock a Sagittarius down, not for long. All right, Sag, I'm always listening to the universe for you. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.